Hey everyone, today I've got a quick PC building tutorial for you. We're gonna be showing you how to install this Thermalright Peerless Assassin 120 SE CPU cooler. We're gonna be doing this on an AM4 socket, but I will give you some pointers if you are doing an Intel build. And if you are interested in any of the components I'm using in this build, they are all linked below in the description. But let's go ahead and dive right into installing the CPU cooler. So let's dive into installing the cooler here. Now the motherboard I'm using today is the ASUS Tough Gaming B550 Plus Wi-Fi 2 motherboard. Now every motherboard is slightly different but the process will be very similar. First thing we need to do is remove these brackets here on the side of our CPU. So this happens to have two Phillips heads on it. So let's go ahead and remove these. There's two screws on each of them. There's the first one. We'll do the second one here and the second one. Looking at the back of our motherboard, there's a bracket here that's now loose. We want to make sure that stays on there, but that's what it looks like. And that just goes through the holes there on the motherboard. It stays on there. It's loose because we removed those screws. If you are doing an Intel build, you would put one of these brackets that came with the cooler on the back. So this is what they look like. There's a little sticky tape there so it can stick to the back of your motherboard. The screw holes there. This one is for the LGA 115X and 1200. And then this one here is for the LGA 1700. And those did come with the cooler. So if you're doing an LGA build, those go on the back of the motherboard. Let's go ahead and lay this down here. So next up, grab the screws and standoffs that came in the box here and the ones that correspond to your motherboard. So AM4, AM5 have the red ones, 1700 is the blue ones, and 115X is the black ones, or 1200 here. So again, we're using the AM4 and AM5 ones here. We'll open that up. And it's important to use the correct ones so the screws and standoffs are the right length and size. And what we're gonna do is take these standoffs and put them right over the threaded screw holes here, just like that, there's four of them. And then we're gonna grab our brackets. Now, if this was an Intel build, we'd grab the brackets that look like this and they would go on in this direction like that. These ones aren't gonna fit, but they would go on in this direction with the kind of knobs facing the CPU, just like that. But we're gonna be doing an AMD build, so we'll grab the AMD brackets. And these ones go on in this direction like that with the curve facing the CPU. And then we'll grab the correct screws and we can screw these down. I like to get both sides to thread before I tighten them down. Not too tight, but nice and snug. Just like that, and we'll do the other one. There we go. So next up, we're ready to install the thermal paste on the CPU. This did come with the cooler, so you should have that in the box. If you don't have any, I like this Corsair stuff that you can pick up from Amazon or from your favorite computer store. I'll have that link below in the description if you don't have any. Now let's go ahead and take this thermal right thermal paste here and there's all sorts of different methods for putting this on your CPU. Today I'm gonna to be using the P method. I also like the small X with four dots. I'll let you decide on what method you wanna use, but we're gonna go right in the middle and put a P-sized glob of it right in the middle like that. And then we're gonna put the lid back on so we don't make a mess. All right, so we're ready to install the cooler here. Really important part, there is a sticker on the bottom here. Make sure you remove that. Do not forget to peel that off. And we need to make sure the cooler is in the correct direction like that. Now you'll see these screws right here, right in here. Those are what we're gonna be tightening it down with. There's two of them. And those align with these screws right here. So we need to align those up. So we're gonna take this and line it up just like that. So it goes on there. It should pop kind of into place. We're gonna take a screwdriver. You need quite a long screwdriver to do this. So 
We're gonna rotate these, make sure they thread. Only do each side a couple times. Make sure they thread. We wanna do this quite evenly. So maybe a couple turns on each one. Just going back and forth. Don't over tighten them, but nice and snug is perfect. There we go. Next up, we're ready to install the fans here, and there's two of them. One goes right here, and the other one goes right between here like that. And the air goes in where the logo is here and out the back side and through that direction. So we wanna make sure that logo is on the right-hand side and they're gonna sit like that. And we also wanna keep in mind the cable here where our connector is. So my CPU fan connector is right here at the top. So we wanna make sure that those are on the right side. So we're gonna grab these. And in the box, you did get four of these clips and they just go on like that. So you put one on that side, another on that side like that. And why don't we do this middle one first? We'll just slide it down in between, line it up, and they just clip on there. That one's clipped on. I'll show you this one here up close, just like that. And we'll grab the second one here as well and do the same thing. Again, make sure that cable's on the correct side. We'll put our clips on, like that, and we will line it up. Now this one might need to be a tiny bit higher because my RAM is right there, but that's okay. Back side, and again, I'll show you this side here, just like that. So let's do our wiring here. So on the back here, the fans both have cables coming out of them. It looks like that and in the box we did get a splitter so it's two down to one like that and this gets connected right here to my CPU fan so we'll go ahead and connect the wiring here make sure these are going on on the correct direction like that and now I have lots of cabling here if I do want to hide the cables behind on the back side of the case and then we've got our connector here for myself it's this one the CPU fan Again, make sure this is in the correct direction and we will plug it in. Like that, and we are done. So I hope this quick tutorial was able to help you get your Thermalrite Peerless Assassin 120 SE installed on your motherboard. If this video did give you value, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also remember to connect with me on social media and subscribe here on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care.